Hey, this is Sogi Penev, Realty Advisors, and today I want to talk about the people in foreclosure and forbearance. Everybody's saying there's going to be a wave of foreclosures that's going to hit the market and the bubble is going to burst. I don't think that's correct. So today I'm going to give you three reasons why is that. Previous crash in 2007 when the foreclosures came the banks were not ready their departments for default servicing to work with um, homeowners were only a few people they did not how to do um, loan modification they did not know what to do with uh, short sales they didn't know how to package and sell non-performing notes now 14 years later the banks are prepared they have uh, hundreds of people trained, experienced how to handle loan modification, short sales, and uh, working with non-performing notes. So this is reason number one, banks are ready for any type of a foreclosure wave. Reason number two, back in 2007, a lot of these foreclosures of people not paying their mortgages had two problems. Their home had no equity and the property was vacant. That brought a lot of motivation on the seller's part and they could not sell it quickly. So they, the only option they had is just to let it go. Today market is different. Over most of the people in forbearance or foreclosure have equity in their properties and they're not vacant. So at any single point, if they um, they are pressured, they can sell the property and there's a lot of demand at this time. So uh, a lot of the, uh, the people in foreclosure could sell immediately if they decide to. And these properties will not see the market. Even uh, they can sell before it hits, uh, it goes in foreclosure. Reason number three, there's a, a big secondary market for properties. Every market has small in, small investors looking for fix and flip. It has, there's a lot of wholesalers looking to buy and resell to their clients. There's a small investors buying and holding rental properties. And there's a huge demand. Also, there is now in today's market that we don't have in 2007, we have the institutional buyers. These buyers, they are hungry. They are looking to buy thousands and thousands of properties with the intent to hold them forever. Pack, rent them, package them and sell stocks on the market. So these, second, um, th these buyers from the secondary market, they are hungry and they're ready to buy as many foreclosures as we get on the market at the moment. So these are the reasons I don't think the foreclosures and the forbearance, people in forbearance will have a huge negative effect on the market. Um, I think it's always a good time to buy investment or property for yourself. So if you guys looking to buy, I'll be happy to help. Give me a call. Thank you.